Hey, this is Mead for uh, AUSquared.com, back again with more drawing lessons. Uh, this time, a uh, retake of the uh, perspective drawing lessons. Um, we're going to start with the uh, basics right now. And we're going to start uh, very simply with uh, vanishing points, um, horizon lines, and planes, and explain uh, what all those are. Um, they're, uh, they're pretty simple. When you, um, when you look out at, uh, at a landscape or something, um, you know, you see, uh, you know, if you look out far enough and you have enough of a, a, uh, distance away, you kind of see the curvature of the earth. Um, but for practical purposes within the, uh, within the drawing world, you're generally going to use a straight line. And that's because, you know, you're generally looking at a segment uh, maybe that long. You're not looking at, at, you know, this huge, this huge, huge landscape. So, um, basically, uh, if you, even if you can't see your horizon line, for the purposes of drawing, your horizon line is going to be there. If it's covered up with buildings, you know, whatever, it's still there. So basically, you take your height, whatever height you're sitting at to draw or standing at, and, uh, and you uh, project a line paralleling the ground out, and that is going to be your horizon line. So when you think of the horizon line, you're thinking of a uh, a line that's really far away from you and in deep space. Um, and when you're picking a vanishing point, uh, it depends on on where you are along that along that horizon line. Like if you're um, if you're looking down a road and you're right here, your vanishing point is going to be right there. If you're looking uh, down a road there, it might be there. Um, it just depends. Uh, so it's like if you if you took your eyeballs out and they just flung out of your head and then smacked against the wall at exactly the height of your uh, of your eyeballs without dropping from gravity, that's where your vanishing point would be. So um, uh, you know you might choose something centered to start out with. Um, because it's pretty simple. Now, uh, in one point perspective, um, most of your most of your lines aren't actually going to go towards the vanishing point. Um, in fact, only planes that recede away from you uh, in in one direction are going to go towards that point. So, if you make a plane by dropping lines down to the vanishing point. like so, um, those are the only lines in this plane that are going to actually go go that direction. The rest are simply just going to be parallel to the horizon line. And if they aren't parallel, then you're working with two-point perspective. So that's a simple uh, plane and one-point perspective. Um, now, you might have multiple horizon lines in, in other situations, but just we're just going to be working with, with one for now. Um, and, uh, and the difference here in, in one and two point perspective, or one of the similarities, is that in both in one point perspective and two point perspective, any line that you project upwards is, sim is simply going to be perpendicular to the uh, horizon line. It's really, it's really pretty simple. So, um, again, boom, parallel, perpendicular. So you have kind of like two sets of lines that aren't actually going towards the, uh, towards the vanishing point. That'll change in two point perspective. And in fact, all three will go towards the vanishing point in three point perspective. So that's, um, uh, so that's really, you know, the difference between all the types of, all the major types of perspective. So one point you have like one set of lines, uh, going towards, going towards the horizon line. Um, and two point you have two sets of lines, uh, the, the original and another set. Three you have, uh, 
the original, that second set, and the third set, and uh, I'll show you how that works a little bit later. Um, so, uh, whenever you're picking your horizon line, that's an important compositional, compositional um, tool. Do you want your horizon line to sort of be down here? Do you want it to be up here? Do you want it to be dead center? Um, do you want it to be at, at like the third? Um, so start thinking about that in your in your compositions. You can even think, oh well, maybe the horizon line is off the page, and I have to draw a line uh, on on the table or the board that I'm working on, and make make um, all the uh, all the lines head to a vanishing point on that totally off the page. And that can make for an interesting drawing too, if you're looking at at like an extreme angle or looking down on something, um, or up at something, in fact. So that's kind of like how you'll start to start to pick and choose uh, these vanishing points. Um, so that's really uh, all the basics of, of like one point perspective, planes, vanishing points, um, and, uh, and it's pretty simple. Um, so if you're going to say draw a like a box, let me give you an example of an application, like a box in one point perspective would be, uh, would be a little tricky because, you know, you would want to probably use two point perspective unless you're facing the box directly. So, um, you might have a situation where the box is here, your vanishing point is pretty much centered over it, and then you're just going to draw lines back to the horizon. Boom, and there you have a there you have a a box uh, in one point perspective. It's pretty it's a pretty simple um, idea. And then one thing to remember that um, you know I was taking a lot of shortcuts there, but uh, one thing to remember when you're first starting out in perspective is uh, don't take shortcuts. Draw all the way through uh, every object that you draw at first, and then when you get comfortable, when it's all internalized then you're going to skip steps and you're gonna not necessarily draw through a form um, but for now be sure to it's sort of like uh, sort of like when you're learning math um, when you're in elementary school you know you gotta uh, you gotta show your work and then you can skip steps later as you get all the steps uh, memorized internalized and you're not as fallible at it so this example you kind of see all the way through the form and uh, that is it for this part. Let's go on to part two.